Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica Dominguez, independent sexy consultant from Toronto. For today's video, I have a what I've been warming. Before we get into that, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of all future videos. Now, do you guys see what I mean about filming in the morning versus the night? I have all this beautiful natural lighting coming in, but then I also have to obviously use my my little LED light over here by my side to give me a little bit more brightness. But um, honestly, I love filming in the mornings only because of all the lighting that I'm getting. Um, unless it's obviously dark outside, then I try not to film on those days. You know, you really have to prepare for these videos and look at the weather and see if it's gonna be sunny or not. So you can better prepare yourself because I have not been preparing myself whatsoever. I've just, I've been bad so. Today we finally have some sun. I know my last video is probably like a little like dark and gloomy, but you know what? It still worked, you know, because now you can see all the lights going on behind me. Like right now, I can't, if I put this on, you can't really see that. I have this on and I don't even think, actually no, you can't see it a little bit, but nighttime, that's when like you feel more of like the Christmas vibe. So you know what? A few videos at night ain't gonna hurt nobody. Anyways, we have a, Pretty big, pretty big, what I've been warming. So, I'm gonna try and get through the the non-wax items first. So let's see what I can take out of here first. All right, all right guys, so first up we have a hand soap and bright cider life. This is one of my favorite, favorite scents for the fall time, specifically for fruity, because I don't really, I don't think I really like any of the fruity scents during fall and winter. Actually, no, winter berry apple tea is one that I do really like, but for fall, only bright side or life. I don't really care for anything else that they have in the catalog. Um, I will say that this this hand soap, sorry, not hand soap, but the bottle itself is amazing. I'm so happy that they upgraded because that other packaging was absolutely horrible. The pump sucked. I felt like you didn't get enough on one pump and then on top of it, when you would press it down, you would have to, like I would specifically have to pull, try and pull it back up to get another pump going because this thing was slow, it just sucked whatever i didn't like it anyways um i did want to just mention suzanne mentioned in her what i've been warming she actually showed the old packaging it wasn't old packaging but she said it was packaging that they were using during the pandemic and girl yes i love that packaging i actually like it more than this i love how it's just tall it's long and even the design on it showed so much she had the caramel apple craze and it looked so cute you guys need to check out that packaging i love love it um, I definitely do like it more than this one, but this one still works. Just wanted to point that out. Then I have one scent pack here. This is from the Alice in Wonderland collection called We're All Mad Here. This was a really nice fruity scent. Um, I didn't like it in the wax. I did try it in the wax, didn't like it, but I preferred it in the scent pack for some odd reason. I feel like it smelled a little bit different, um, but this one lasted pretty long. I still have a little bit of scent going on, but it's not anything too strong anymore, so decided to get rid of that and then i have two car bars here so one is in the pumpkin cinnamon swirl and then bright cider life now funny enough i like i love bright cider life but i did not like it in the car bar i felt that it just smelt a little bit different i don't know i just this was i didn't like it and uh, performance was okay for the car bar i would not repurchase this again i'll only repurchase it in the wax bar from now on and then all I have to say is pumpkin cinnamon swirl has my heart. Honestly, I think this is my favorite, favorite fall scent. Pumpkin cinnamon swirl. It wasn't like a big hit for me last year for some reason, but this year I went all off with it. Oh my God, let me tell you, the car bar, my car smelled absolutely amazing. As soon as I got my, my new car, this was the first scent that I used. Oh my god, my car just smelled like good, so much fall goodness, bakery goodness. I know this is in the spice category, but I feel like this should be in the bakery category. Just something about, you know, the icing, the pumpkin, the cinnamon, everything combined is so, so freaking good. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this scent. This scent, I'm almost debating, debating adding it to my club, but... I feel like they always come up with such good scents for the fall time that I feel like, I don't know, fall and winter, those are like the two seasons that I never really add anything to my club unless it's like, I like I need to, it changed my life in some kind of sense. Um, but I am, I'm, I'm debating adding this to my club or maybe I should just buy a few backups perhaps, but 
I love this. I love this in the car bar. Amazing. I would definitely repurchase the again, this again. I actually um, went through two of these, but um, my boyfriend actually really liked the scent of it and took one, uh, took one home actually. And then I have here a few scent circles. So I have one in frosted vanilla, cran apple crumble, around the campfire, and apple cherry strudel. So let me say, apple cherry strudel was the biggest fail, guys. I opened it up. And I'm like, where's the smell? Where's the scent? I could not smell this one. I wish it worked. I wish it performed. I can't even... Yeah, I definitely can't smell it now, but this was such a bad performer. Just like the wax, the wax barely lasts. The scent circle is even worse. So I would definitely steer clear of the scent circle in that. Frosted vanilla. I have yet to warm this in the wax, so I'm not sure how that's going to do. I think it will perform pretty strong. This lasted about two days in my car. I was really expecting this to perform well, and it just didn't. It was not strong whatsoever, so I would not repurchase this one again. Then we have Cranapple Crumble. This was really, really nice. It wasn't a strong performer, but I really loved this one regardless, and um, I would definitely repurchase this one. Oh, it's such... A yummy bakery cranberry apple oh it's so freaking good like I absolutely love this one and then we have around the campfire so this is this is one I love in wax and for some reason I don't know why I was really hesitant on getting a scent circle in it for my car I'm obsessed with this I need to buy a few more of these for backup I cannot begin to describe how well this thing performed it performed for so long that I actually had, I took it out while it was still strong. Um, not strong, but like it was, it was weaker. It was weaker. Um, but I want it like, I love changing up the scents in my car so I can never have a scent for too long. But this is a powerhouse. This is so strong for a scent circle. I messaged my girl Jarlene and I told her and she's like, girl, I got one in my car and I got one in my husband's car. Like, it is so good. It's so good. There's something about the scent. I don't know what it is. I think it's mostly for me nostalgia going to the cottage and stuff. But if I have to pick a favorite woodsy scent, it's around the campfire. So this is the one scent that I usually would add to my club because I love it so much. I didn't add it last year because I was really confident it would come back. I know a lot of people don't love it, but a lot of people really, really do love this scent, especially with mixing it with like vanilla bean or toasted marshmallow or sugar cookie, um, anything that's bakery, mix it with this. It's so beautiful. Um, but this year I'm not, I'm not taking chances. I will be adding this to my club because I don't know why I have a feeling it may, it may not come back next. I don't know. I just, I need to think of that in the back of my head that scents are never safe, okay? But this was such a powerhouse, I'm going to order like 10 more of these. So freaking good. Then we have the Harvest Oil 3-pack. Now, I was actually happier with this than I was with the last set that I got. I can't remember what it was that I mentioned, but um, yeah, I, I did enjoy these ones. Apple Cinnamon Scone was my favorite one. The other ones were just okay. I don't know what it is about these oil three packs. I feel like I'm never really content with them. So I feel like I'm probably going to just steer clear of them unless every single oil has scent descriptions that I'm obsessed with. I think I'm just going to steer clear from them for now because I just haven't been like, I don't know. I haven't really been wowed by them. I don't know. There's just something that I'm not really content with with them. Then I have a few scent pods here. So first we have here, lucky star fruit. Now this is one that was in the clearance. I like the scent description. I'm glad I only got one because this performer was the performance was so bad, so bad. I could barely smell this. Um, I've already told you guys I'm having issues with my wall fan diffusers, and I've been asking for recommendations and stuff like that. Some of the recommendations I've been getting, I mean, I got I think Jammy Time, and I'm just not a fan of Jammy Time, unfortunately. Um, um, except for the Laundry Love Bundle, love Jammy Time, and that I just don't love it for my home. Um. But um, a lot, I don't know, I'm just performance wise, I'm not getting the best strength. Um, so I'm still playing around with different scents. So yeah, in terms of like performance wise for me, I think because my place, everything is so open concept, large rooms. So even in my bathroom, which is the smallest place, I have issues with getting any kind of scent throw in there. I have a feeling it has something to do with the, um, the outlet being higher up on the wall because even with my mini warmers in there, I get nothing. Like I have to put my mini warmer on top of the, um, the sink just to get any kind of scent. Because when I have it on the wall, the scent just like it, 
it's almost like it just distributes into the air and then it just disappears like it's gone um so what i did was i got my wall fan diffuser instead of it being upright i actually twisted it because you guys know you can twist your mini warmers depending on like the position of your outlet so what i did was i actually twisted instead of my pods being this way i actually twisted it this way so when i walk into the bathroom I'm getting like the scent is just kind of like coming at me when I walk in. So that's the only way I can really get any scent. Um, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not having the best luck. And then this one, I don't have the case for it, but this is Tropic Tango. This was also in the clearance section. I got, I think about four or three of these pods. I think I got four. I've already used one. This is my second. So I think I have two more left. I can't remember. Um, this one again wasn't the strongest performer so i'm gonna be testing my next set of pods in the bathroom this way with the scent pods going this way because when it was upright i couldn't get anything but this is such a beautiful scent oh it's so good so good i really really do like it i just wish the performance was a little stronger i feel like maybe in the wax it would be better if it ever came back and then um inside of my peachy and palm trees i actually have the mickey mouse and friends set that one was a really nice scent um it did perform a little bit better but again i wasn't getting the best throw from it um i actually ended up going to my sister's place um in her son's room we tried out a wall fan diffuser in there and all the scent just happened it just happened um, so it just shows you that it really just depends where you're putting your scent pods um, or even wax, right? It's not just scent pods, but your wax as well, depending on how large your room is, if it's warm, if it's cold. There's so many factors that change how a scent really throws because in her son's room, everything worked fine. But my small little bathroom, it just it sucks. So I'm just trying to make it work, see what works for me. Um, but yeah, the Mickey Mouse and Friends was okay. Now. I finally have a scent that is working for me and that is peachy and palm trees this is the current one i have going on in my bathroom and let me tell you that one is giving me lots of scent throw it's really really good so i'm very happy i finally have one scent that i'm content with for scent pods all right guys let's dive into the empty wax finally my favorite part as always so first up we have here give me or give me candy this scent actually has some honey in it and i wasn't expecting to love it with honey for some reason i haven't really liked anything with honey let me tell you guys, this is a strong performer and I have a feeling this might come back next year's for next year's catalog. Really, really good performer. Really, really like this scent. And then we have from Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters, Perfectly Wicked. I love this scent. This one is really, really good. It is more perfume based. It has, um, I think it was spiced vanilla, cherry. Um, oh, what was the other note? Plum? Was it plum? I think it was plum. Um, but this scent is so freaking good. Really, really love this one. But I already know that they are coming out with a collection next year. They did mention um, because the warmer sold out so quickly that they're going to be working on more Hocus Pocus things. So I was initially going to add it to my club, but I do have a few backups. So I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm just not going to bother adding it. Then we have here my favorite fall scent, which is pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Guys, I'm just absolutely obsessed, obsessed with this scent. Like, I can't even, like, begin to tell you how much I love it. It's so good. I really, honestly, I feel like they should just add this to the bakery section. They need to take it out of the spice because it's all bakery for me. Then we have here cran apple crumble. This is probably my favorite favorite scent from their new releases that they had this year oh another really great bakery scent i would say this was about a medium performer but really really love the scent definitely would repurchase it and then we have here this is a scent that really surprised me this is cranberry orange cider i kind of went off a little bit um in my previous video when i purchased this and how it smelled like potpourri i forgot to mention it and then i ended up putting like a little voice note in the video on how this smells like potpourri it just it smells like a more how do i say almost like a modern type of potpourri scent not the one where you go to the store and you see all the potpourri you know in the little baggie with all the different scents going on i just love that it's combined into a wax but i feel like it's not a very like older type of scent like do you know what i mean i know some people will refer to this as like an old lady type of scent we don't want to say that um 
like I, this definitely does remind me of my mom because my mom used to use this before my aunts used to use this type of uh, like potpourri all the time in their homes um but i just feel like this is just a more modern sophisticated type of potpourri that is not overwhelmingly strong i just i love this it's so good the spices in here the orange the cranberry it's so honestly it's so good this is a scent that i will will be adding to my club i really really do love this it's so beautiful and i feel like you can really use it any time of the year because it's still fruity it just has that added little bit of spiciness to it then we have here a watermelon wave this is one that was super super random i think this where was this from i think this was from it was from the clearance section i think it was one of those 40 dollars bundles that came with like 10 bars um this was okay but it will never compare to my watermelon patch. That that scent will never leave my club, like ever. Next up, we have here white amber and silk. Um, so when I was watching Suzanne's video, she mentioned that this reminds her of a vacation scent, and I totally agree. I didn't even think of that. Um, for me, it was just it reminded me of a very pretty, feminine, clean scent. Um, not overpowering whatsoever. When you first smell it, it does smell a little bit strong, but it's not crazy strong when you warm it up. At least not for me. And I've been looking for the perfect perfect ba bedroom bathroom scent and i finally found it um it for some reason because she said it, it reminds her of vacation it reminds me of one of the scents from island days the island days wax collection which was drift drift oh my god i cannot talk driftwood and jasmine that one was a really pretty floral um summer type of scent where this kind of reminds me of that as well so i would have to say this comes in first for a bedroom bathroom scent for myself just because i haven't been able to find anything a lot of people use more of like the super super clean scents and just for me i feel like i wasn't able to find that until i met white amber and silk this is so beautiful um so yeah for bedroom scent this and driftwood and jasmine those are two of my favorites um but love love this scent i'm definitely going to be ordering a lot more than those and I swear to God, if Sensi discontinues that one, that one's 100% going to my club. I can't see them discontinuing it for the spring and summer for some reason. It's just such a beautiful, perfect, fresh, clean scent. Like, there's no reason to take it out. It's not really Christmassy or fall. So, Sensi, please keep it. Thank you very much. Then we have here Perfect Day. This was a really, really nice pair of scent. I really like this one. This just reminded me of a spicy version um, of the Apple Teeny Splash from the last spring and summer catalog. Um, this is almost like its older sister. Uh, just She's a little bit more spicy, a little bit more of a bad gal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then we have here Falling Apples. So I actually was not expecting to like this scent whatsoever. And I really, really like this one. It was a very, very strong powerhouse in my place. And um, I personally thought I wasn't going to like it because of the, I think it's the acorn, toasted acorn. Because I didn't like the toasted acorn and apples. That wasn't a vibe for me. Um, I think that's what it's called. Toasted acorn. No, sorry. Toasted acorn and oak. I wasn't a fan of that. So I felt, I thought I wasn't going to love this one just because of that acorn note in here. And I really, really liked it. Really, really strong. Next up, we have your walnut raisin and muffin. Now, this one was actually available when I signed up as a consultant, but I never really purchased it just because the scent description didn't really appeal to me for some reason i think it was the raisins and i'm glad that i did pick it up in clearance it was nice but it wasn't anything that like wowed me so much you know what i mean then we have here toasted marshmallow this is currently in my club this is a really really nice toasted marshmallow scent one that i really really do love mixing with around the campfire actually it's really really good um, then we have here graham cracker crunch. This is also a very very nice bakery scent I love the peanut butter note in here I don't think I've smelled anything that Sensi has specifically done with peanut butter in it So it's very very dominant in this one and this is really really nice I'm definitely glad that they brought that one back. That's another one. I mixed with a uh, toast uh, Sorry that one I mixed actually no I mixed it with toasted marshmallow That was really nice and I also mixed it with around the campfire really really nice Then we have here velvet moon another new scent that they released for the fall winter catalog This one's super floral. It smelled really nice when I smelt it on cold and then when I warmed it I just didn't like it. I actually had to take it out 
the same day. I just, I didn't like that scent at all. Then we have here Blueberry Rush. This is another scent in my club that I'm obsessed with. It is just, it is a burst of Blueberry Rush. That's what it is. I believe there's pomegranate in here. I think there's plum. Um, a lot of like the dark fruity scents are in here. Really, really good. That one's never gonna leave ever. Uh, then we have here Stroop Waffle Delight. This was a scent I had in my club and I actually just took this one out to replace it with, um, I, what is it called? Saint Nicker, Saint Nickerdoodle. I need to make decisions, guys. Hard, hard decisions. And I can't keep everything because then I'm going to be spending like at least $300 every three months. And a girl cannot do that, especially when she got a car. Car payments are happening right now. Um, so I've decided to do a lot of cuts to my Scentsy Club. Um, I'm trying to keep it under like $150. I don't, honestly, to me, that's nothing. Um, every three months, you know what I mean? Like every three months I'm getting scents that are not available anymore, which is really, really nice to have. Um, and then like that, I don't have to worry about never having stock, which I always will, but most of the stock I have right now is actually spring and summer scents because I'm going through my fall and winter ones so quickly. But yeah, Stroop Waffle Delight was a really nice scent. It just, it didn't perform to, you know, what I would have loved it to perform to. Um, so I just decided to replace it with the St. Nickerdoodle, St. Nickerdoodle, St. Nickerdoodle. Um, I decided to replace it with that one just because I really, really love it. And I feel like that one is a strong performer for me. It's just, it's very beautiful. Love, love, love that one. And guys, bring back my bar is about to come. Bring back my bar is coming in January. And I know I'm going to have a few scents that I'm going to add from there. So I try to kind of like make it where I'm adding more so scents from bring back my bar than I am for like limited editions, unless they're absolutely amazing, like cranberry orange cider. Um, because I don't know if like those will ever reach, like, you know what I mean? Bring the bring back my bar scents are the ones that you really want to add to your club. Like you don't want to be like no because you don't know if they're gonna come back then we have here harry potter ravenclaw wit and wisdom this one is a very nice sandalwood vanilla scent it's beautiful i really debated adding this one to my club because i do really love it but i noticed that like even the lion king scent was some sandalwood and vanilla as well but it's just a different variation because they mix it up with different scents um but the one that i'm really waiting to try is pacific sandalwood that one sounds like it would probably be one of my faves um so i'm just kind of holding on to hope that it'll you know come back for bring back my bar then we have my favorite around the campfire which this time it will be going into my club again like i said you can mix this with absolutely anything sugar cookie vanilla bean buttercream um toasted marshmallow if you have that one graham cracker crunch caramel apple craze it was a, actually a very very nice mix with that one with this one um but so beautiful it just reminds me of, like I said, cottage camping, campfires, toasted marshmallows, good food, friends, family, just the whole scenery. It's just, uh, it's amazing. I love it. Love it. Then I have here a Wassail Wonderland. This is one of my favorite Christmas scents, actually. It's currently in the clearance right now. Um, so if you guys do enjoy this scent, um, definitely pick it up. I also love Very Snowy Spruce, but um, I did debate adding this one to my club last year. Was it last year it was available? Yeah, last year I debated adding it to my club, but we always have Christmas tree scents, so I'm kind of just like, you know what? I don't really need to add any Christmas tree scents. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, then we have here Farm Stand Pumpkin. I decided to give this one a, another go, and I just... It wasn't for me. I don't know. I know it says that there's some caramel in it, and I don't really even pick that up, which I kind of wish I actually did, even though I don't really love caramel that much. Um, I do wish, I wish I could pick up a little bit of it. So I'm never, I'm not going to repurchase Farm Stand Pumpkin again. Caramel Apple Craze. Now this one is a freaking powerhouse. You know, I kind of wish my, my camera would pick up on the colors a little bit more, but I think it's just so bright in here right now. But you know what? It's okay. It's a vibe. Whatever. We're going with it. Caramel Apple Craze. This is one of the strongest, strongest scents I've ever smelled. It's actually a little bit too strong for some people. Um, so if like, for example, if I'm warming this in my place, I can't warm anything else because you're every, this will overpower any other scent that's in my, in my place. It'll overpower whatever's in my bedroom. It's just very strong. So what I've been doing is I go through it a little bit slower because I'm always mixing it. Um, mix this with graham cracker crunch or toasted marshmallow. 
it's really really good really really like this one but yeah again this one mix it with something bakery to tone down that care i know that almost sounds like why would you mix bakery with a bakery-ish type of scent but this is fruity this is more fruity than it is bakery it's not really bakery to me um so i do think if you mix like even like vanilla bean buttercream it might tone down like this the crazy sweetness in here but that's that's gonna always be one of my favorites then we have your cutie pie cupcake oh my god do you guys see that cutie pie cupcake i love this scent it is so so good it's in my club this was a sensi heartbreak for me um it released when i first joined sensi but i didn't know anything about club and um i'm still waiting for sweet plum pastry to come back because that's my other heartbreak that released with this um with this set of bring back my bar so um yeah this one is just it's it's better than clementine cupcake clementine cupcake there's something a little bit off about that scent um this one is just oh i can't even describe it guys like you guys you guys just need to smell it it's so good then another scentsy club scent banana nut bread one of my favorite scents oh my god i'm so happy that i got the chance to smell this one it's just it's perfection love it for the fall specifically but i honestly use it all year round and then blueberry pancakes this is one that released last bring back my bar i did not get to warm this one whatsoever uh during the fall and uh during spring and summer just because i just found it to be way too sweet way too cloyingly sweet way too pancakey for my ass oh my god this is so beautiful for fall even for winter like i'm going i'm getting another bar of this this month and um i'm gonna be using it like it's so so good for fall and winter it's just I love it. I love it so much. And I'm like, I'm glad I just didn't second guess myself because I thought it was too strong. Then we have your dancing sugar plums. This is another really beautiful plum dark scent. The performance was not bad. I found that it didn't last as long as I thought it would just because I thought this would be a strong performer for me, but um, it really wasn't, but it's really nice still. I would definitely still uh, repurchase that one then we have here swirling snowflakes this is one i thought i would love now this is like a mix of that minty notes with vanilla actually and it's nice but it's not my favorite and it's not really a strong performer either um, i'm very picky when it comes to minty scents um silver bells would have to be my favorite fresh like peppermint type of scent um or candy cane whatever you want to call it for winter swirling snowflakes was okay I don't know i just i wasn't really a fan of that one um that's why i'm really kind of bummed out that they they um release like these holiday bundles like the harvest bundle and holiday bundles they always release three of a, a three pack of them but you can never get them separately unless you get in the club so i wish they kind of wouldn't do that and they would allow you to like get it separately because i would buy a bunch of the cranberry orange cider i just don't care for the other scents i really don't another banana nut bread of course oh look oh, of course i have a scent circle ha i i i had a feeling that i would find something in here that was in a wax bar white amber and silk 100 percent recommend for the car oh guys i'm obsessed with this scent this scent is so beautiful so freaking beautiful oh definitely one of my favorites and then i have here a clementine cupcake now this is one that i try i tried it for a second time again like i said cutie pie cupcake is just so much better i find that there's just something off with this scent it's not a strong performer first of all um but there's something that's i think it might be the actual clementine i just don't i don't know there's something off about it i just don't love it i will not be repurchasing it uh another hocus pocus scent i really really like that one as you can tell and then another Waffle delight i have quite a few doubles in here actually um bright cider life love 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 the scent um i only use this one during uh fall time i don't ever use it any other time uh and then of course another cranberry orange cider my favorite just my absolute absolute favorite christmas scent that they came out with like that one's just it's so different and i think it's because of the potpourri too and last but not least we have first day of fall this is one of my favorite favorite fall scents it's like the first one i gravitate towards now I think what I should do is I probably should do a video on my favorite fall and winter scents. I think you guys would 
I think you guys would appreciate that since I've been, you know, I've been missing in action. So I need to make it up to you guys somehow. I need to think of a lot of different content um, to film for you guys. So if you guys have any kind of ideas, you know, leave me a comment down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I feel like I'm back to myself with filming. Like it feels great. The only thing I need to do is my nails now. I had my nails done for the longest time, was going to the salon for the longest time, and I've been doing my own nails for like the last six to seven years. And um, I kind of fucked up my nails and I've been having to let them regrow. So right now the process is a little bit slow, but I need to add some kind of like nail polish on here so you guys don't see how like sad they look because they're looking really sad, but whatever, it is what it is. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in shopping anything Sensi related, check out my website, veronicadominguez.sensi.ca, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.